Hi there, my name is Lukas, and in today's tutorial I will show you how to create your new building structure. First thing we need to do is to create a new project by clicking on the button called New. A window called New Project will open. What we can do next is to specify a project name. Let's call it Building Structure Tutorial. After this, you can choose a location where you want to save your projects. You can either choose from localhost or pimplus. Localhost is when you save all the data into your computer. Pimplus is cloud-based, so all the data will be saved on server on cloud. Then you can choose a team if you are using Pimplus and Pimplus model name. Next, you can choose a country-specific template and choose from predefined templates. But currently, we will create our own building structure. If we click next, and then we can set path settings, fonts, line weights, etc. Then we have offset coordinates, which we can use if we want to move our origin of a project to a different place rather than 0, 0, 0. We can also rotate a plan view. It can be used if you want to relocate the north direction, but it can be also changed later. Last thing we have is the country settings, depending on in which country you are creating your project. If we are happy with the settings, we simply click finish. New project is created, and now we will create a building structure. We need to click on a button when we can open a building structure and the window will open. The window says the current project doesn't have a building structure, but you can choose from different approaches how to create your own building structure. You can use start building structure wizard, create custom building structure, select predefined building structure, or use a building structure from a different project. In this video, we will create a custom building structure. We click OK and the building structure window will open. As you can see, we only have 10 drawing files and no stories or building parts involved. We click on the Flow Manager button and the Flow Manager will open. As you can see, currently it's empty. We need to create a new model by clicking on the button called New Model. Then you have a new window in which you can name your model. Let's call it House Tutorial Video. Then you can choose number of stories above zero and number of stories below zero. You can change them by clicking on either arrow up and down. Then what you can choose is a name of a story above zero and elevation point of unfinished floor on ground floor, which basically means the level of a floor slab without a floor on top of it. Then we have a height settings, so we can set our clear height between unfinished slabs, slab thickness, we will change it from 150 to 120. Let's say we are creating a reinforced concrete floor slab. Height of a foundation can be changed from 900 to 1100. And then you have absolute maximum elevation point of the structure, which is the very top point of your building and also absolute minimum elevation point of structure, which is the bottom level of your foundation. Then there is a section called building structure. You can't forget to check create and extend building structure. If you don't do it, you will create a building structure, but it will not apply in your new project. So check it and click OK. After this, new window will open called create extend building structure. Here you can choose whether you want to assign drawing files to your project or not. Those drawing files will be assigned to a structural level selected below. Each structural level has its own drawing files and you can choose whether you want to have 10 or more drawing files per structural level and also number of a drawing file with which you want to start your drawing files. Then we can add some views and sections. Let's say we will have four views and two sections. In views, the drawing files will start with the number 1000 and I will have three drawing files per view. We will also decrease the number of drawing files in section from 10 to 3. Click OK.
When you click on a plus button, you can open a tree of your building structure so you can have it in a tree view or visually on the right hand side. And let's say we decide to change the height of a ground floor. We just double click on the number and change it. Then what you need to choose is depends on how you want to transform your building. In my case, I want to keep the height of a planes below, but I want to move up a planes above the level. Click OK. And as you can see, the height has changed, both in tree and visually. Now we click OK. And as you can see, the building structure is generated with all the drawing files included in each structural level. There are also structural levels in views and sections, including the drawing files. But let's say we are not happy with the height of the upper floor, so we need to click on the floor manager again. And now we will change it in the visual part by double clicking on the number and changing the height to 3.1 meters. Again, we want to keep the height of a planes below, but move up a planes above this level. Click OK, and your heights are changed in your building structure. When you click OK, now we can choose whether we want to move elements which are included in our drawing files. Currently it doesn't really matter, but let's say we already created some drawing files and included data like walls, floor slabs, etc. And if we uncheck these boxes, the elements will keep their height, just the height of the floor will extend. But if the elements are linked with the height and we check these two boxes, the elements will automatically change depend on how we change our building structure. Click OK. As we can see, the height of upper floor is changed to 3.1 meter. Now, once you're happy with all the settings, you can go to a floor manager again and save your building structure by clicking on the button Save Favorite. You just choose a direction where you want to save it, choose a name, let's say house building structure, two floors plus basement. Click save and later if you are creating another house project, instead of creating a whole building structure all over again, you just click load from favorites and you can load your building structure which you've already created before. Let's close the floor manager. And now let's say we will create a floor slab in the drawing file 22. What we can do is assign this drawing file a certain levels by which the model of a floor slab will be defined and will be linked with the heights. By right clicking on the name of a drawing file, you choose assign planes and then we choose bottom level of the first upper floor and top level of a ground floor. We click OK and again the same thing if we want to move the elements linked with the drawing file. Yes, let's check it. Now you can see that the drawing file number 22 is linked from the bottom with height 2.8 meters and from the top 2.9 meters. And now you have created your custom building structure. Thank you for your attention and see you in next video. Bye-bye.